Focusing on my hand. Restarting the stream because we we're having some connection issues. So hopefully this is better. I heard right as I left, it started getting better. Um, so I might just need to give it some time to warm up. Uh, the internet seems fine on my end, so we're gonna keep doing it. See how how we improve. Luckily, Baymax is a uh, simple shape, so I'll try to describe it for you. Get back to the warm ups. Patient with me while we figure this out. I am a uh, just a dude in a house <laughs> trying to make it work, so that we don't have like an IT team or anything. Okay, so we started over. Let's go ahead and start over. So we talked about the head being a like a squashed balloon. I'll draw that again for you. You see it more clearly. So that this is a balloon pushed against the ground downward, then it creates this sort of shape. So we're going to say that this is Baymax's head. And we said earlier that Baymax is about seven and a half heads tall. So uh, we're going to start sort of towards the top of the drawing so we can fit seven of these shapes underneath. Um, just to make sure we can get the whole body in there. So instead of drawing it straight across like this, I'm going to actually have it a bit at a tilt. We're going to keep going because I think it'll it'll um, buffer soon. The camera's in perfect focus, so it seems like the issue right now is some pixelation on YouTube's end. I'm going to keep drawing. So uh, before we were drawing heads that were sort of straight across. This head is going to be at a tilt, so I'm going to actually do my horizontal line first, like that. And then I'm going to draw this shape following that. So you can kind of see that the bean, hopefully, is rotated this direction. Then a second to buffer. So Baymax's head, obviously, is one head tall. Um, and then the chest is two heads tall. So if we just imagine this height, I'm just going to roughly mark out two right about there. So I'm going to slowly quietly and lightly draw a line there. And then Baymax's belly is about three heads tall. So I'm just gonna use my hand, it's, it's rough, so just measure that, one, two, three. That goes down to there. Cool, so now we kind of roughly know where his body is, and if we want, we can go ahead and put some lines for the feet. So his feet are one and a half heads tall. So let's just measure that again. One and a half is about there. He can be rough because he's made, uh, he's inflatable, so he has a lot of malleability in his body. Malleability means uh, it can be reshaped by Play-Doh. So for the chest, I'm just going to draw a circle right here, really lightly. And then for the belly, I'm going to draw an even bigger circle. So it's kind of, it's going to start looking a bit like a snowman. Go really light with it. Make it a little darker so you can actually see it in the stream. I got so many really fun drawings of Judy yesterday. Everyone check out the drawing with Woodsy hashtag because there's a lot of really nice work that you guys did. 
everyone said it was so hard. And then I saw the drawings and I was like, you guys did great. So that's the body. Um, I'm just going to really quickly connect these parts together just with a straight line from this chest circle to the hip circle. Same on the other side. And let's go ahead and let's just give them feet on the ground. So these are feet are going to end. Uh, I've seen in the past, I've seen people draw the feet just straight down like this. But since he's inflatable, there's this fun thing you can do on the side where rather than having it come straight down from the body, you can kind of arc out and then back around here. And that kind of gives it this like really squishy feel. And I think that's what people love about Baymax is the squishiness. When we were animating Baymax, there was a talk about what kind of reference we should use to try to find the right um, movement style for him. So a lot of animators did tests of how he could walk and move, because uh, a lot of this isn't figured out until somebody has the idea for it. And the things that were pitched were maybe you should walk like a penguin or um, different exotic birds. But what they what they settled on, which I think is great, is like a the full diaper. So everything is, has this kind of like squishy, um, malleable, we're going to use that word again, feel to it. So that is what we're going to do. So we're going to start. This is the middle of his body. We're going to draw just kind of a straight line down to the ground. And then about half halfway over from this end to the far left side over here, going to go up to the leg and then start doing that bulging line so it's just it goes away from the middle and then it goes right back towards the middle to see it's like a little curve there and then you can go flat when it gets to the bottom line and then I like doing this little see if you can see it like just a little curve that goes right back up to and you can do that same curve on the other side so that's where the feet are going to like the legs are going to be connecting, but not the feet. So we're going to do the same thing over here, about halfway out to the side. Arc, and then come back around. Cool. You see, they're they're not totally circular shapes, so. Is a little more advanced than I think uh, people might assume because <clears throat> his face is so easy to draw, which is why we're saving that for the end. So I'm going to draw this arm. <clears throat> it's just going to be hanging down by his side. <clears throat> so the arms are like, I love using the word bean. Apparently we use that all the time. <clears throat> his arms are these beans that hang down from his side here, and they are really really big. So think about them like an inflated balloon. It starts here around where the chest circle connects to the head. And then I'm just going to draw a really quick, fast line out to the side. Oop, my paper moves. So it's almost like you're making a D from the side of the body to here. But we're not, we're not doing, doing that darkly because we're going to leave some room up in the shoulder area. Just a big, fun, round line there. I bet you're doing great. It's piece by piece we're drawing lightly so that we can go over later. What's cool about drawing is that while you're drawing, you learn something. So I think a lot of people assume if someone is drawing something, they know exactly what it looks like as they start drawing it. Um, it's never really the case. People are always searching for the drawing. So that's what all these scratchy lines, these scratchy lines are not the style to do this, um, this kind of line. It's, it's really like trying to figure out what is the shape that you want to commit to. So 
it's okay to be really, really scratchy in your drawings. I see a lot of really clean drawings, which is cool. Um, I, I imagine probably that people have erased the way the, um, the scratchy lines, or maybe they've started a new sheet of paper. But yeah, I love a good scratchy line. So we're going to actually, this hand, if we were to draw Baymax from the side, he, his hand, his arm is back here and his belly kind of sticks forward in front of his hand. So we're going to put the fingers on the hand, but we're going to make sure that they're behind the belly. So the, this line in front of the hand, the really important thing. So I'm going to draw a circle here for the thumb. Less a circle, it's more of an oval there. So small. And then the other hand is going to be, let's start the other fingers. We're just going to keep coming off of this line that we made, this long arm line. And then we're just going to connect it back here. And that's the, that's that hand. So he has, if you wanted to draw, it's an optional extra line if you wanted. There's a little plate around his thumb, a little line of definition there, like a seam. So you can put that in there and it helps him look a little bit more like the MX. So he's a friendly guy, super, super nice. So because of that, I want to draw him waving. Yes, it's a famous pose that is everywhere uh, because it really tells who he is. So since this arm is down, we're going to put the other arm up. And to do that, it's a really simple shape. It may look complicated, but I promise you can do it. Just draw a bean that's tilted this direction here. So it's going to be lightly. Eventually, it's going to be behind the belly, just like this was behind the belly. So that's why we're doing it really lightly. And this is a bent arm. So we're just going to connect this down there. So I'm going to start darkening the areas that I like here. Starting at the bottom and then from over here, just to remind myself that the belly is in front. Cool. So let's do this hand. This hand, I'm actually, I think I'm going to simplify it. Um, Baymax has these pretty complicated individual fingers with um, in them and seams. But sometimes when I'm trying to um, get through a drawing quickly and really sell the impression of the thing and not necessarily like accurate anatomy kind of things, I'll just draw a quick indication of where those fingers might be. So kind of if you think of Mickey's hand, it has this great shape to it all the time. This like all the fingers are sort of connected. Um, see that? So I kind of want to do a same thing for the uh, for this hand here. Just helps streamline the shapes. The thumb is going to be in front of these fingers. So these are the these fingers, and then we're going to put the thumb up in front. So I'm going to draw the thumb just as a circle right there, right in front of that line. People have already sent me the drawings that they did of Sven, which has been so fun because he's a really hard character to draw, I feel like. And people have done a great job with him, which makes me think uh, maybe they should work at Disney and I should. So take test your hand at drawing Sven. It's also on YouTube and the Disney animation page. You can um, play it there and then pause it if you need. So to start those fingers, I'm actually just going to take an area here start about halfway up the thumb and then just draw have a straight line diagonally down the hand there. And that tells me where the fingers end. And then I'm just going to draw some lines up toward the top. So if you wanted to be really accurate, you could draw these this way, the fingers there. But I don't know, I feel like he's cuter when, when they're together like this. That's just for me. 
So just like we drew this line here, we're going to do the same thing on this thumb. Like that. So there are a lot of little patches on him that are um, kind of where the air goes into his body. So we're going to start putting those in. I want to put them first on the legs. So we're going to draw them because they're in perspective like this. But if we were to see them straight on, they're just ovals like here. So imagine this oval is placed on this leg, but around the corner. So we're just going to see that part of it. So this line is meant to indicate that there's an oval patch all the way around the leg. The same on the other side. He doesn't have shoes, but he has a little line here. So you can just indicate that. It's a little darker on the bottom of the feet. I think they're more rigid because that'll help Baymax stand up. And then he has patches at the elbows. So same thing, we're gonna put the oval, but around this side over here. And then on this elbow. heart is. So that is a simple shape. It's just a little circle. And then from across the circle, I'll draw it bigger over here. Circle. Um, there's this line that goes over, up, over, down, over. So just take a look at that line try to replicate it it's this is where the, all the memories are stored sharpen the pencil a little bit So the last thing that we haven't drawn on him yet are his eyeballs. So his eyes are fun. They're just, if you are going to use the center line here. And then on the left side, I'm just going to draw a circle here. And on the right side, another circle. And then connect the dots. There's his face. I'm going to color that in with my black line later, but just so we can see it on the stream. Before we uh, put any black lines on it, I have to show you guys something pretty cool. Sister-in-law actually met Baymax a couple years ago. Sent me a message. I'm going to play it for you so you can hear. Hello. Oh, we're going to go louder. I'm Baymax, your personal healthcare companion it is very nice goodbye how cool is crazy that was so nice of baymax to do that for me play this music again recording it for me
I'll show you this real quick before we go. Um, but when we, uh, when Big Word, we all got to take pictures with it. So that's Chris Williams and Don Hall. And those are their Oscars. Uh, yeah, that shirt, I love that shirt. It's designed by Bobby Pontius, who was an animator at the time. And I think now he's a character designer for Disney TV, I believe. Cool. So yeah, he's a pretty simple character to draw. Um, just little slight nuances that help make him feel specific. So let's go ahead and start outlining things so that he can feel complete. We're going to start again. I am right-handed, so I will start on the left side so I don't smudge the character as I'm moving across. So I'm going to go. Luckily, he has this. It's all the way out to the left. Just get that started because that's a little easier. I hope when you guys draw, you listen to music too because it makes it a unique experience. Every drawing feels different because the music kind of gives it a personality. I was doing a college assignment once and I was animating at school pretty late and I had my um, iPod and I was listening to film scores and I had a bunch of really, really sad, somber film scores that I was listening to and they affected my animation. <laughs> my animation got super bleak. Um, and then when I saw it the next morning, I was like, wow, where did that come from? But it was just because that was the music I was listening to and it kind of told told me what I was going to animate. It's weird how that happens. So I left this space here between the oval of the body and the shoulder because I want to make sure that this feels like it's connected. And I'm going to do the other left leg. Someone had a really good idea that I think if anyone has the time or availability to do this, Baymax is famous for being a healthcare companion. And uh, we are, we should be very grateful for our healthcare companions that we have now. Uh, they're at work for us. So uh, if anyone has the ability to or um, knows how to send mail to the hospital, it'd be kind of cool to send your Baymax drawings to. Um, hospitals and medical facilities around your community and let them know that you appreciate what they're doing. Give them a little hello. And now you know how to draw Baymax for that. I like that idea. I think it's great to find ways to get back however you can. So I'm going to save the head for last. I'll just go ahead and do this thumb. And work out the arm. Sometimes I get weird reflections. See if we can get a better. While I'm doing these big curved shapes, um, I like covering the drawing as I'm doing it. I could put my arm on this side, but then I'd be pulling towards myself as I do this line. And that, for me, I can't really get a consistent line. So I like pushing away. So if I'm drawing a curve, I like pushing away from my arm rather than pulling towards. But yeah, I can't. So. You can always rotate your drawing around. I have this cool disc that lets me do that. Um, but most people can just turn it around on their tables. And even when I'm doing my clean line, it's still kind of scratchy. It's just uh, lets me know what is 
intended to keep and what isn't. Cool, so let's go ahead and I want to do the chip port. And then the head. And I want to show you a cool thing that you can do with this head with some of the stuff that we've learned in the previous classes. If you haven't taken those yet, they're all on YouTube. So we've drawn Stitch, we've drawn Mickey and Olaf, and yesterday we did Judy Hops from Zootopia. And we've done uh, a lot of fun characters, and I have some more planned for the future. So uh, just come back and see us. We're going to be here around, I know some people are from around the world, so we're everywhere. Uh, someone is asking what kind of pencil it is. This is the Palomino Blackwing. Um, kind of an expensive artist pencil, but any kind of black pencil, uh, even a black colored pencil will do. It's got this fancy eraser, but I try not to use it as often as I want to. So I think before we shade it in, I want to show you some things you can do knowing what you know about uh, dimensionality now. So let's say this is the head here. Can you see that? Okay, so this is the head. And then if we did the center line up here, then we can do the eyes like that. And he's looking up. Or if you wanted to, you can do the center line still in the middle, but put one eye all the way to the side and then just connect it to the end. And now he's looking to the side. So the center line really tells you a lot. It's, it's the same shape of the head, but you can, you can get away with very few lines. Now he's looking down. If you do the center line the other way, you can tilt it the head that direction. All kinds of fun opportunities for you. So, these are really quick drawings, and if you were animating, that's really how fast you would draw it, just sort of to get an indication. And then if you like it, you can go in and clean it up later. So let's go ahead and do some of the shading. The shading is going to be these areas, these little patches that we made. We're going to color those in lightly. When I'm doing, especially when I'm doing light um, coloring in, I, I keep my hands going in the same direction. Consistent. Color this in just barely. This is a little lighter than the rest of it. So since we have a little bit of time, we can actually, because he doesn't have any color, we can shade him a little bit. So let's let's learn a little bit about shading. I'm gonna sharpen my pencil so that I can use the side of it like this, rather than like this. I get a fatter line. And I think this is an, an important thing to practice my pencil like this, not like I would normally hold it like that, and then. I'm almost rubbing my thumb, or my thumb, wow, my pinky, hello, against the paper while I'm doing this. The, paper, the pencil is almost flat against the paper, so not quite touching, but almost. So let's start with, we're going to start again with the left side from me, covering my drawing. I'm just going to do a light shading over here. Really? Yeah. And then on that side. So because I shaded this side here, I'm assuming that the light is coming from this direction. So everything I shade is going to be on that side of the character because that is should be consistent. Uh, we'll say there's one light coming down from here. Put this light right there. There we go. And so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do the body. Just starting from here. 
and it's really light. You don't want to go too dark with this because he is, if you remember the movie, he's semi-transparent, which means you can kind of see through him. So it shouldn't be too dark. Now let's do this leg. And do the other leg as well. This music, I love it. Remember who you are. You are Baymax, the one true caretaker. Remember. That's probably something I'll regret doing later. Let's go ahead and do this hand as well. It's close to the belly, so I kind of want to do most of my shading down here at the bottom. At this area. Okay, and then let's shade the head. I'm gonna be careful with this because it's smaller, so I'm just gonna go one or two really light strokes here. Cool. And then from underneath that, I want to actually put some of the body as well. So I'm shading there where it's contacting. Lastly, we're going to shade the ground a little bit. Let's move this light so you can see accurately what we're doing. Okay, that's worse. There we go. So, this side of my pencil again. I'm going to do that here. There we go. And that. Is Baymax. Hello. Yeah. Before, I want to show you the Sven drawing that we did for the Disney Animation page. Jump over there. Pull this up. Yeah. So yeah, this is the Sven that you can learn how to draw if you go to the Disney Animation Instagram or. Uh, YouTube or Twitter, anywhere where you find your Disney animation content. So yeah, that was fun to do and I'm, I was happy that they asked me to do that. So let's go ahead and move the camera back. Get ready, close your eyes, it's gonna be sickening. Okay, so we're done. Remember what do we do? We clean our hands, I'm gonna do that here. I'm drawing with somebody, um, your, your family, or if you have the ability to share it with someone in the healthcare, I'm sure they would appreciate that. So um, thank you so much for joining me today. Sorry again for the technical difficulties, but it seems like we got better as we went on. Um, I will probably just continue if we have some issues in the future. Um, just keep moving forward because I think that the stream figures itself out as we go. Uh, yeah, so... I think that's it for the day. Uh, remember, just because we're separated doesn't mean we need to be alone. Let's be together. Let's do this together. If you want to uh, share your drawing, it's the hashtag drawing with Woodsy. Um, that's the best way for me to see it on Instagram or Twitter. Um, and I'd love to see how your Baymax has turned out because they're always wildly different and it's fun. Uh, if you want to follow along and see how everyone's turned out, you could just search for that hashtag or follow me. I'll be posting everyone's drawings in my story as I find them. So. That's my favorite part of the day. Uh, I hope you had a good time today. And tomorrow, we're going to be doing another full body character. So that's a little hint for you. It's going to be fun. You're going to like it. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, you're right. Signature. What am I doing? you got to sign your drawing. What? Sign it. I'm going to sign mine down at the feet. I always do the right side, I think, if I can. Thank you.
That was close. Can you imagine? Okay. We did it. Thank you. Everyone have a wonderful Wednesday and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.